<laughs> hey everybody, I'm back this week to do an awesomely Thanksgiving themed recipe. So have a happy Thanksgiving this week and try this really awesome, I know I say that a lot, uh, cranberry drink. It's warm and filling and oh so refreshing. I call it a cranberry refresher. So get yourself a large, very large microwavable bowl, big spoon, whisk, and start out with two cups of jetted cranberry sauce. <laughs> it's fun stuff. But yeah, you need two cups slash 16 ounces of cranberry. And you need to go get a cup and a fourth of water. You can go ahead and use the same measuring cup. Just help you wash the measuring cup out. So, a cup and a fourth of water. Now you need two cups of an unsweetened cranberry juice. I didn't want to buy a huge container like I had last time, so I just bought a six pack of the little cans. If you're wondering why I used three and used them all, it's because I had used some out of one this morning. So two cups of the pineapple juice and a third a cup of brown sugar. Now for your whisk. Gonna take a good bit of whisking because the jelly is jelly. You wanna try to get that incorporated into your water and pineapple juice, along with getting your brown sugar incorporated. Okay, once you've got it whisked fairly well, you're still gonna have cranberry jelly in there. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for two minutes. This is gonna help melt and incorporate the cranberry jelly. Um, other things you might need, an awesome mug. I don't know if the drink will be warm enough. I hope it will to, I love my TARDIS disappears on this side, appears on the other side. Ladle. You don't need to use the lid on the recipe. I mean, while you're cooking it, but um, I have it for afterwards because I'm probably gonna be the only one who drinks it. So I'm going to need to put it in the fridge. You might make this for your Thanksgiving meal or just a fun Thanksgiving evening, football, parade, whatever. Okay, let me just clean up a little bit. You see, this recipe doesn't take very much. This is why it's so great because it's so quick, so simple, and it tastes really good. You probably have seen me wear the shirt before, but um, being that it's getting close to Christmas time and everything, budget is shoestring tight. So we, uh, you'll probably see me rewearing a lot of shirts. Um, I think this is one of my old Megan Lara shirts. She's okay, pretty good artist. I can't say much. I think much of her attitude on Facebook a lot. I know I'm terrible. <laughs> Can you add me? I wish I could remember which t-shirt side I got this off of, but I knew a couple of them sold it, so. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds, we're gonna give it another good whisking and we're gonna see how it's looking. Um, the microwaving time, we'll do it two minutes, whisk it, then we'll do it a minute. Um, we'll see if it's warm enough for our taste and if the jolly is all incorporated. 10 seconds. Oh, did you guys uh, watch Doctor Who last night? Face the Raven? <laughs> So happy Clara's finally dead. But did they have to drag it out so much? <laughs> okay. Go ahead and give it another good whiskey. The jelly is the hard of, hardest part of this to get stirred in because it is jelly and you're basically needing to melt it and stir it. 90% of your time in making this awesome drink is the whisking. 
You could use a spoon or a fork, but it is easier a lot of the time to use a whisk. Okay, a lot of the jelly is incorporated. I just wanted to start with my ladle to see how it poured. But, um, hmm, let me get a clean tasting spoon. See where we're at temperature wise. Mm. Mm. Really good. We're actually gonna do this another two minutes though because it's a lot of liquid. It needs heated up. It's really, really good. Um, okay, anyway, I was talking about Face the Raven. You probably hear me get on my soapbox way too often about Doctor Who anymore. Can't help it, huge fan. Like, dedicated to the show forever. And I was even talking to a friend about this this morning. I think, I know they said, oh, this episode's gonna be so sad, Clara's exit's gonna be tearful, tragic. Yes, it might have been had we not been expecting it for a couple months, but as soon as I said, oh, Jenna Coleman's leaving, I'm gonna go to uh, Queen uh, Victoria, can't quite remember, show, she's gonna be dying, she's never coming back. Well, there shot the mystery right away. How am I gonna be sad if I've known about it for weeks and months? And I'm not. Your spoilers, it's kind of you're spoiling your own show. How are you gonna get people compelled to watch your show if you're telling us everything that's gonna happen? You're not. I mean, I'm gonna watch it forever, but I got a DVR. And to be honest, I DVR'd it last night and watched it this morning. Went with my friend Misty and we went to Little Mason to see Mockingjay Part 2. Decent movie. A bigger fan of the books. But it was pretty good. First one, first time I actually saw one of the movies in the series. I just never cared to go see them. But then you always get the question that you hear the girls talk about in the theater. Team Gale, Team PETA. <laughs> you put me on Team Alex. Okay, 14 seconds and then we're going to stir this and taste it again and see where we're at. But that's literally as simple as this is. And um, if you wanted to do a frozen sort of version of this, um, just add one cup of water and use eight ice cubes and put it all in a blender. Then you have a chilled cranberry refresher. Okay, whisk away. Ooh. I am not meeting with much resistance at all, which means most of our cranberry jelly is incorporated into our yummy, yummy drink. Okay, new spoon. Oh, that's getting even better. I'm gonna do another two minutes. Now get, be careful because the bowl is getting hot. And if the drink is warm enough for you after about four minutes, then bless you, go ahead and drink it. Put it in your mug, enjoy it. This doesn't really need anything tossed on top. But if you want, if you have anything you want to eat with it, drink with it, put on top, go ahead. Me, I just like to drink it plain. Cranberry and the pineapple together. It literally tastes like Thanksgiving. Look how cute are these napkins I picked up last night. <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed in Walmart. Oh boy, was that a zoo last night. Ooh, stopped before I went to the movie. Insanity. It wasn't even Black Friday and it felt like it. Soon we would be starting, we're going to be getting into December here soon. Um, I know I have at least one or two recipes to show you guys, but there may be a few weeks I take off in December, because if you've followed me for a couple years now, you know I traditionally take a lot of December off because December gets 
so busy and so crazy. There's just not always time or money to go to the grocery store and just think of things. Now, if you guys have requests, I will gladly film an episode showing your requested recipe. But if you don't, I'll at least show you, like I said, I think I have two sort of Christmassy December recipes. After that, I will be back full force in January. And like I said, I'm only going to take recipe, I mean, weeks off if I don't have recipes or requests. But December is kind of my recharging. Christmas time, eh, New Year's busy. Okay, let's get our mugs and ladles ready because we are going to try this. I wish I could have showed you this in a clear bowl, but I didn't really have a clear microwave bowl big enough. Our jelly is almost, is literally completely incorporated now. It is at the perfect sipping temperature. Have my awesome mug. You'll probably get some cranberry jelly in there. Just your drink an awesome texture. trying to show it to you without making a hideous mess. But how cool is that? I wish, I'm, I'll try to tilt the bowl a little bit. Blow on it, I don't want you to burn your taste buds. Oh, it's so good. Tastes like Thanksgiving. You got your cranberry, your pineapple, your sugariness. It's good. Mm, that's so good. <laughs> My TARDIS has tried it up here on the other side. But, looky, 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 look how good that is. It's just this rich, deep cranberry color. Anyway, go. I'm going to go finish my mug. You guys, please go try this. Share this with your friends. Get the word out about my show. That would be amazing. I would thank you so much. Shoot me any requests, and I'll see you in a week or two. Thank you so much.